Okay, today's project. I I have this uh, I River um, MP3 player. It's powered up. Is it powered up? It's a nice little uh, MP3 player. It uh, I, I was using it for podcasts, playing podcasts, and have music on it. Um, it's you know. It's, USB input. It actually has line input, so if you want to record on it, you can. I believe it's got. You can do videos, pictures, text, even. You can install text on Radio. Like, like I said, you can do recordings. Um, just files, settings. So, it's a, it's a nice little thing. Um, it. Uh, you play music. It's got a nice little speaker, too. But sometimes you don't want to use the speaker, you want to use the headphones. And that's, or you want to hook up your aux in your uh, car or whatever. And that's really nice, except when you keep putting in jack, pulling it out, eventually it's going to wear out and it wore out. So, um, so no, it's, it's not like you can just go, hey, I think I'll get a new, uh, new uh, headphone jack for it and go to Radio Shack. Of course, you used to be able to go to Radio Shack, but, oops, um, not now. So there's really not a lot of places to just pick up these kind of things, and it's kind of specialized, so uh, you need, it needs to be a fairly small one. Uh, but, I have this old phone, and it's got a small uh, adapter on the end for the headphone jack. This phone is dead. I will not take a charge. Um, and I haven't used it for years anyway, so it's, it's getting ready to... I was going through my stuff and I came across it and I was thinking, oh yeah, i got to throw that in the recycle pile. And then it dawned on me and it said, it's got a headphone jack. It's unlikely, but it's possible that if I tear it down and get to the uh, headphone jack, it might be something I could scavenge and, and, and reuse in here. Probably won't be. It'll probably have some different layout or whatever, and then I'll just be, you know. But at least I'm gonna I'm gonna tear it down and see what I can find in it, and see if it's actually something that will fit in the uh, iRiver uh, MP3 player. And uh, if it does, great. If it doesn't, eh, not really out much other than I tore down a phone. I'll just reassemble what I can and put it, put it in recycling. So, so, let's get started with that, and I'll switch the camera. So we've got two things to do. Tear down both these, so I can view them, and see if they're going to work. Um, let me power this down. This one I have actually taken. I think, I think this should, yeah, maybe that goes right angle. I think this should give me at least an idea of whether or not the uh, pieces parts will fit. So I might as well start tearing this down and see.
it didn't totally just right, but I did get some pieces parts out of it. I don't think this is going to work though. It might. It just might. Because the... Where this way to go in this way the solder mount points. If you have three on this side and two on this side, they don't line up exactly, but the hard part will be getting it on there in such a way that it doesn't that mechanically it sound. Looks like the ground part of the headphone is actually corroded. If that's corroded, you're not going to get anything from the headphones. It looks like the, not only the headphone jack, but the line in is corroded also. So maybe I'll first clean that up and see if we get any. Well. Do do do. So this is gonna be small enough. Thought about Q-tip, but a Q-tip, you know, it's got the cotton on it and could actually get stuck in there and stuff. So, uh, so the site says use one of these, and these you can buy like four, or five packs for you know a buck. So, um, and then it says to use rubbing alcohol, which I happen to have. Actually, a problem with the oh, it's actually physical. Problem with the board. It's actually uh, it actually moves, so that's not good. So that's probably so these two in the ground and the. Uh, First level of the stereo works with this. Shot.
Oh, the speaker still works. Let's see if the headphone works. If it works, I don't. Sure. Okay. That's it. It's working. So, uh, I think it's time to heat up the uh, glue gun. Put dab the glue on there to see if that will. Uh, um, Physically hold it in place and keep it mobilized. And might have actually done something that worked. Maybe. We'll see. Let me go get the glue gun. It's going to take a while. Glue gun's in another spot, so I'll come back when I'm done globbing the glue. Uh, before I put the glob of uh, glue on there, I thought I might just uh, see if I can show you what I did. Um, Right there, this is where it originally uh, was soldered and that was supposed to hold it in place but then it peeled away and I actually have a little piece of the uh, um, board that actually pulled away. So it looks like from what I could tell there's a little tiny uh, um, run right here. So what I did is I took a little piece of wire and I ran it underneath this, connected to that and then soldered. Then I did the same thing on the other side. Here, I had to run it underneath this piece to this piece there. Um, I'm not sure how well it shows up or not, but anyway, that's what I did, and it was not a lot of fun, but it was okay. Um, so seems to work. Um, now I'll go glob the glue. Bye back. Powering this up. Don't know, I might have just ruined it all again. But I put some hot glue there on this side also. And it seems to be seems to be fairly solid now, so um, let's uh, see if it still works. Speakers work. Close that out. Plug that in. Get the play button. Hmm. No, I screwed something up. Oh, well, the wire's still there. Need to reconnect it with the solder. Man, I wish I had like a tiny little solder on there. But I don't. Doesn't look like this side is separated, so that doesn't look. But this side, can't see. Maybe, I don't know. This side, the wire came off. Wasn't a good solder joint anyway. I couldn't get much solder on it because it didn't fall into it. So. Well, uh, back to the drawing board. Not drawing board, but solder now. Turn the fan on. Put the headphone in. Yeah, it's all out of both now, so. I'm gonna 
glab it up right over that solder joint and glab some more. Hopefully it'll still fit in the. Yeah, I covered the, uh, the solder and the wire with some glue, so hopefully this is non conductive. We'll find out. Booting. We've got sound out of both. Not too bad if it works. Battery's about to die. But hopefully, we'll get this done before the battery's dead. So. Speaker works. I'm going to call that working. I'm surprised. <laughs>